Do you wish there was a way to capture e-signatures within Power Apps? Well, there is with the DocuSign connector. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how we can take data from our Power App, pass it into DocuSign to dynamically fill in a form and route that form through the process for e-signatures. Now, before we get started in the walkthrough and before any of you come at me in the comments, I do wanna point out that if you need some very basic functionality to capture a signature, there is an out-of-the-box control. So if you go into Power Apps and you go to Insert, and do a search for pin, there's a pin input control. So we can collect a very basic signature within Power Apps natively. But if you want and need something more robust than this basic functionality, you're going to need to use a third-party service like DocuSign. Now DocuSign has been around for years and it has a lot of native capability to handle these e-signature situations. And there's a native connector for the Power Platform that you can just plug and play. And if you don't have access to DocuSign and you just want to test this functionality out, you can do what I'm doing and use a free developer account. And I'll put a link in the video description so you can go get your own DocuSign developer account. And the way that they actually handle their developer accounts is a little interesting. Instead of having a single connector, they have two different connectors. So when you go into the Power Platform and you search for DocuSign, you'll see the normal DocuSign connector if you're using the paid version. And you'll also see this DocuSign demo connector here, which is what you will use if you're trying out the developer account, which is what I'm doing in this video. So all the steps that I'm gonna be showing are using this DocuSign demo connector, but they are all the same steps that you would follow if you're using the native DocuSign connector for a paid account. So let's start with the scenario that I want here. I wanna be able to send out offer letters to people that are applying for positions. So there's a DocuSign template that I have here for an offer letter. And if we look at it, this is a fillable form. So if we look at the offer letter template, it has some data inputs that we can pass into it and then route that for signature. So I'm going to be showing how we can A, build a power app really simple with Copilot to collect this information and track entries for a job position and the status and send offer letters. And then B, how we can pass that data into these placeholders like we're seeing here for candidate name, manager name, job title, start date, and all that. So we already have the DocuSign document that we want to be able to send out with all of the fields as placeholders and the capability to have that electronic signature from the person that we're extending the offer to. Now let's just go and build out the Power Platform components and tie it all together. Now I'm going to be starting completely from scratch here so you see the whole process end to end. So we'll do a really fast build here. We're gonna start in Power Automate. So we're going to go to make.powerautomate.com and first we'll go to our solutions tab. And if you don't see solutions in your left navigation menu, you can go to more and discover all and you should be able to find it here and you can pin that if it's not already to your left nav. Now to make this work, I'm going to be A, creating a Power App Canvas app and B, I need to create a flow in Power Automate to handle all of the processing of taking the information from the Power App and passing it into DocuSign. So since I need multiple components like that, I'm going to create all this inside of a solution. So we're going to go over into the solutions tab and say new solution and I'll just call this hiring. We'll select a publisher and we'll click create. So now that we have the solution, I'm going to start with creating our Power App. And to make this as quick as possible to build, I'm going to leverage Copilot. So I'm gonna go outside of this solution for a minute and we're gonna to go to make.powerapps.com. And right here in this text box where it's asking what should we build, I'm going to put in a prompt. So I'm going to be as detailed as possible. I'm going to ask this to create an application to track candidates for a role. And this should include fields to track the candidate name, their email, the hiring manager, the job title, the city and state for the role, the salary, the level, and the start date. Now I'm just going to press enter and Copilot is going to work here building a backend database in Dataverse to be able to store this data. So now I took all those requested inputs that I asked for and added those in here. It looks great. It gave me some sample data here and I can just do some tweaks at this point. So it all looks good, but I think I forgot to have it add a column for the status so I can track where the candidate is at. So I'm going to ask Copilot here to add a column for status and include these options for pending, rejected, interview, offer sent, and offer accepted. So that all looks good. Now I'm just gonna have Copilot help me with some more sample data. So I'm going to have it add five more items to make sure that we have data representing all of these different statuses. All right, now we're good to go. We'll have it create our application now. Now we're gonna have a way to be able to track all the candidates for this role and route them through all the way to extending an offer. So now I'm just gonna do a little bit of setup so that we're ready to be able to pass data onto our flow that we're gonna be creating here that will connect us to DocuSign. First, I'm going to enable a feature in this app called Modern Controls. So I'm gonna go over here to these three dots and go to these settings and updates. 
and I'll turn on this modern controls so that I get some updated controls to use. So the main thing I need here is a button to go and call that flow that will go past this data into DocuSign to send an offer. So within this container, I'm going to go to insert and we'll select this button option and I'll do a little bit of configuring. So I'm gonna change the properties drop down here, the text property and change that text to send offer. And the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna add an icon just to make this look better. So I'm gonna to go to the icon property and I know there's an icon called send. So I'm gonna put that in there. And then I just need to go to the width property and make this a little bit bigger. So now we're good on the Power App side until we build out that flow. So let's actually jump back over to Power Automate and go back to our solution. And we'll add this application inside of our solution. So we're gonna to go to add existing and we'll say app in Canvas app and we'll add our candidate tracking app that we just created with Copilot. Okay, so from within the solution, we can create a new Cloudflow in Power Automate to handle connecting to DocuSign. And to do that, we'll go to new and we'll say automation and we'll do a Cloudflow that is a type of instant. And this is a type of flow that we can trigger directly from Power Apps. So in this load, you see we have an option for the trigger type for when Power Apps calls a flow. So we'll select that and we'll just call this send an offer and click create. Now, first thing we need to do is expand out our trigger of Power Apps, and we need to add inputs for anything that we need to pass in. So I'll select add an input, and this accepts multiple types of inputs, but everything that I'm gonna be doing will be a text type of input. So we'll do a new text input. We need to get the candidate name. So I'm gonna call this candidate. We'll add another input for manager, and we'll just keep adding text inputs for all of these different values that we need to capture. We need salary, level, start date, city, and state. So now we have all these properties with the trigger that we can pass back to this flow. Now we need to connect to DocuSign. So we're gonna add a new step below and let's just do a search for DocuSign. And again, this is where the two different connectors will show. And since I'm using a developer account, I'm gonna choose this demo one. But if you we were doing this in production, you would choose the DocuSign connector. Now there's a ton of actions that we can choose from here, but to start this off, we're going to select the create an envelope using a template with recipients. Because I already have inside DocuSign a template for this hiring offer letter that I wanna use and pass data into that. So it's gonna have some drop downs that we need to fill out. First, we're gonna choose our account. So this is from our developer accounts. You can have multiple accounts there. Then we'll choose the template that we wanna use. So that'll be another drop down showing all the templates that you have with that particular account. So we wanna use the offer letter template. And then finally, the envelope status. So you have two different ones, which is created and sent. So if you did sent, that would send this right away. If you do created, it allows you to do some other stuff before sending. So I'm going to choose the created first just to set all this up and we'll add another action later on in the flow to actually send this out. Now, as soon as I fill out that information, it's asking for some additional information here. So we need to put in an email subject. So I'll just put in something simple and then a body as well. And then candidate name and email. So for candidate name, I'm actually going to use some dynamic content here. So we're gonna pull that directly from those inputs that we define in our trigger. So I'm gonna pull the candidate there. And it looks like I need to do the same thing for the email. I forgot to add an input for that. So we'll go back to our trigger and we'll add one more input for candidate email. And now we'll use some dynamic content in this one to point to that candidate email input. So now at this point, we just told DocuSign that, hey, we wanna use this template and we wanna send it to this person with this subject and this body. But we haven't did anything yet as far as filling out the document with the information from our app. So to do that, we need to add another action. So we'll add a new step here, go back to our DocuSign demo connector, and we'll choose this action here to get document info from an envelope. So this is gonna get the actual associated document for this template. So again, we'll use our drop downs. we'll choose our account here. For the envelope, we're gonna use dynamic content again, and we'll point to the envelope ID of the action that we added before, where we created that envelope from a template. And then for document name, you actually have to manually type this in. So you would go back to DocuSign, look at your template here. So this is the template I wanna use. So I usually just go to rename and act like I'm renaming it, and I'll just copy that and we'll paste that right there in the document name. The important thing is you have to have the extension as well. So we're gonna have a lot of actions here. Now this one is getting the document associated itself, but the next step is to get the fields that we can fill in for this document. So you guessed it, we're gonna add a new step here. We'll go back to DocuSign and we'll choose this action here to get document generation form fields from an envelope. Same thing, we're gonna choose the account and we'll map the envelope with the envelope ID that we have in the action above. 
and only two more actions to finish this thing out. Now we have the document and we have the fields that are fillable for the document. Now we have to go actually do the mapping. So we're gonna add another step here and we'll choose this option to update document generation form fields from an envelope. We'll do our mapping again. We'll choose the envelope ID from our dynamic content and we'll choose the document ID from our dynamic content as well that we had in that previous step that we added. Now is where we have to do our mapping. So in this section here, we're gonna put the field name in DocuSign and then we'll map it to the value that we have from our trigger. So to know your field names, you'll go back to your document here and it will be case sensitive and all that. So I'm going to map each of these field names here. So I have candidate underscore name, job title, manager name, and all that. So we'll just start mapping these. So I have candidate name, and that will map to our trigger with the candidate that we have. We'll add a new item. And with the magic of editing, I'll add all these in and be right back. Okay, so we have all of our values mapped here. Now the final step is to actually send this packet on to get signed. So we're gonna add one more step and we'll choose this send envelope option. We'll point it to our account again and the envelope ID that we wanna send. So at this point, we're actually getting the data from Power Apps into the document filled out and sent off to the person. This does it all. So we can save this. But now that we save this flow and that's handling the automation of passing data to DocuSign for us and sending that off, we need to connect this back to our Power App. So we'll go back here to our solution and we'll open up this Power App in edit mode. And on the left-hand menu, we have a special button for Power Automate Flows. So we'll choose the Power Automate icon and we'll go to Add Flow. And we should see, there it is, our Send Offer Flow that we created. So we just select that to make that accessible via this Power App. Final thing to do is we're going to wire up that button to go execute that flow. So we'll select our Send Offer button and we'll go to the On Select property and we'll just type the name of the flow, Send an Offer. We'll do send an offer dot run. So now you see it will prompt us for all the data that we need to put in. So the first thing it's asking for is the candidate. So we'll just look at our app and see where that data is stored. So we have the candidate name right here. This is in this property, something called data card value two. And to make this easier, probably a good idea to go and rename all of these fields before, but I'll just go with the flow here. So we need to pass in the candidate. So that's in data card value two. We'll get the dot text to get the actual value from that card. Now we'll just do a comma and it will keep prompting us for the next input that it's expecting. So now it's expecting the manager. So again, we'll go look at our form here, our app. We'll click on the manager name. That is data card value four. So we'll do data card value four dot text. Another comma. Now it wants the job title. Here's our job title field. And now it's looking for the salary. So we grab that. Then we need the level. And this value is a drop down, So we need to do dot selected and then dot value to get that value there. Then we need the start date. And because this is a date value, we'll grab the selected date. Now it wants the city and we'll grab the state. And finally, it just needs the candidate email. So now that we have all of these values mapped, we can test it out. So I'll run this application. We'll choose one of these items like this one right here. And we'll click that send an offer button. This will go and call the Power Automate flow. And if we wanna check and see what's happening with that, we can go back to Power Automate and click on our flow here and look at the run history. So we see one did just succeed nine seconds ago. So I can see everything that happened there. And if I go to my email, I should have an email, which I do. And this is the description that I passed in from the flow of we would like to extend you an offer. And if I click review document, it should have carried over that information to the document itself that we passed in from Power Apps. So I'm just going to agree and continue and we'll scroll down. And there you go. It's getting in the name of Sarah Brown for an accountant position. It's got the manager name, David Miller. It's got the location of Seattle, the correct start date and the correct salary. So it's filled out all of that information dynamically from Power Apps into this offer letter here. And now I can review, have my electronic signature here, adopt and sign and finish this process. And as I mentioned, this is extendable. So if we wanted to be able to know if someone did accept that offer and sign it and maybe update the status in our Power App, we could just add another flow. So just quickly, not to rock through the whole thing, but just show you how you would go about doing that. We could add a new flow, but this time choose an automated cloud flow. And we'll just call this update status. And throughout this video, you see multiple versions of Power Automate. For the first one that we created, we were using the classic editor. And this right here is the new editor that's rolling out. But same functionality, we can search for DocuSign here. 
and we can use this trigger of when a envelope status changes. So we would just fill out this information as far as what event we're looking to see. So if something was agreed to, for example, that was what we wanted to trigger off of. And then we can go and update our data source directly with the updated status. So that's really all there is to it. Hopefully this gave you some inspiration and ideas of how you can integrate Power Apps with DocuSign and pass data dynamically into your DocuSign forms for e-signatures. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor and support the channel by clicking that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.